Welcome back to High Level Techie. This is Jitin here. And today we are going to talk about branded domains in Go High Level. So let's go and see what is a branded domain and how you can set up a branded domain inside your Go High Level account. Okay. So if you want to access your branded domain, you have to go into sub account settings and find your business profile. So when you are in your business profile, you will see a field called branded domain. And this is where you will add your branded domain. So now let's talk about what is a branded domain. So whenever you want to send out a link of your calendar, a form or a survey, it goes out with a link, something like this. I'm going to show you now, go.ichatlabs.com, which is my white label version of high level. So if you haven't white labeled your agency account, this address could go out something like links.highlevel.com instead of the branded domain that I set for the agency. So why is it important? So you can see here, my business website is highlevelthecky.com. So if I'm sending an email from my dedicated sending domain, I will also want to include some of the links such as a calendar link or a form link, et cetera, right? To have a better deliverability, the domain of the links that I include inside my email should be in alignment with the sending domain that I send out. Email sending domain would be something like replies.highlevelthecky.com and the links that I should include would should be like links.domain.com, something like that. So that's when you have the domain alignment which would help you increase the deliverability of your emails. That's one major reason why we set up a branded domain. So in this case, this is my root domain. So I just copy that and then I'm going to add a branded domain so that my links will also be aligned with this domain, okay? So if you try to add a root domain here, such as this and try to add a domain, it would tell you only subdomains are allowed and then you have to go back and add subdomain here. Some of the subdomains that people usually use are probably like go.highlevel.techie.com or maybe even simpler, links.highlevel.techie.com works well, okay? Or you can also use brand.highlevel.techie.com. So when you send out a calendar link or a form link, this would follow this format, okay? In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use links.highlevel.techie.com levelthecky.com. Once I add the subdomain dot root domain, click add domain. And these are the records that is going to get added. C name links and value would be this one. Okay. Click verify. So my domain is managed under Cloudflare. So all I have to do is click verify and authorize Cloudflare to do its job. Now all I have to do is click authorize domain and click authorize again. And then you can see here I have my branded domain added. And now let's go into our form and see if that has changed. Okay. Here is our form. Let's go and preview this link. And you can see the now the link is links.highlevelthecky.com instead of what we saw earlier. This is the initial version, go.highchatlabs.com, which is the agency name. Now the link has changed to links.highlevelthecky.com, which is a sub account name. Okay. So this would apply to your surveys, forms, calendar, and all such things that you want to share. So using this branded domain, whenever you send out an email with links to your forms, calendar, service, etc., you make sure that your link is aligned to your sending domain, which would help with your email deliverability. And also all the links would look on brand, which is an added bonus. So this is how you can create a branded domain for your sub account. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.